Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about getting a job and why having a job is really important, especially if you are a magic content creator. Now, recently we have seen that many YouTubers, including ones that may make six figures, don't do not have insurance. There's many reasons they may not have insurance, but I assume that primarily they're trying to save some money. Some of the basic necessities of life, like insurance, are not covered, 401k, and most importantly, cost of opportunity. So if you started as a junior developer with my company, in 10 years, you would be a senior developer and you would have a six-figure income. If I didn't want to pay you that six-figure income, you could work for pretty much any agency in Houston and somebody would be happy to pay you that income because that's what a senior developer is worth. That is not true for Magic the Gathering. Pro players have to fight other pro players to win prizes. These people do not have insurance. They do not have 401ks. And most importantly, they don't have the opportunity to further themselves financially. These skills they are learning how to play magic or not cannot be applied in a real job. You cannot do it. I interview and we recently hired someone. I would laugh you out the door if all you did for the last 10 years was play Magic the Gathering. I would not, I would actually make a video of you on my other channel to my other LinkedIn subscribers just to tell you how foolish it looks. So if you spend 10 years as an engineer, you spend 10 years as, even 10 years as someone greeting you at Walmart, Maybe you become a Walmart manager, maybe you become corporate Walmart, but you're not going to stay at the same place for 10 years doing the same thing. Now, I thought about this for a moment. So Wed's, this issue of insurance came up with him. Tolarian has a son and a wife. Does he have insurance? There's nothing more scary than having to rely on other people and donations to cover expenses like medical bills, home. If you want a new office, hey, donations. I think this lifestyle is really difficult and it's not something I would suggest anyone to do. You can be wiped out with one hospital bill for $200,000 you would need every subscriber for Wedge to donate a dollar to pay off that bill. Here is something that I think is quite interesting. I volunteer a lot, I give back a lot. This is documented. You go on my LinkedIn, my several posts I've made about Hurricane Harvey, about letting people stay over, they went viral. I've done interviews. I've done radio interviews. I've done interviews with Inc., the magazine. I foster pets. At some point in time, there's someone better to give to. So the, the concept of there will always be donations, there will always be Patreon, I think that's incredibly risky. There's no 401k retirement to fall back on. There's no retirement plan to begin with, and there's not even insurance. So insurance in the U.S. under Obamacare is relatively affordable. Most jobs that are full-time have to give you insurance. And even the part-time jobs, many of them have options to get you know, an employee plan or some type of Cobra, so even if you were laid off, you can go on Cobra for a year and a half. Chip, like children's insurance. There's so many ways to get insurance. 
and it's dawned upon me that maybe Magic the Gathering players cannot afford insurance, which is insane. Because when you're making six figures, and most of that's donation, if not all of that's donation, you're going to be taxed at the highest bracket, or the second highest bracket, around 37%. And if you live at home, that's probably okay. You're making 65, 75, depending how you do your math, after taxes, uh, depending on your expenses, of course, because you're operating a business. You should be able to get insurance for less than $300 a month. And if you're making six figures, you should be able to pay that. But are there other factors? Like, do you need to save up money for your retirement? Yes. Do you need to save up money for your future? Yes. I'm just a little appalled that someone who supposedly is making this much money does not have insurance. I think it's because of the culture of Magic the Gathering. If my home floods, and if it floods, I know I'm going to receive X donations to fix my home, then why should I pay for flood insurance? I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about something that actually happened. Where a post person donated five to $10,000 for another YouTuber, Tolarian, to fixed his basement that flooded well homes in houston flood all the time we have actual hurricanes that come like hurricane harvey which was one of the worst natural disasters in history so people were displaced children families dogs were displaced i took in seven foster pets at that time Donations are a very interesting topic in Magic the Gathering because you never want to criticize someone who's donating. They believe in the cause. They believe in what they're donating because they're putting their money where their mouth is. And most people don't do that. So I commend anyone who's ever donated before to anybody. And you can donate for any reason because you like the person, because you feel bad about the situation. But please, please take care of yourself. Get insurance. If you're a Magic Pro, if you don't have insurance right now and you're relying on Magic the Gathering, please get insurance. Secondly, please stay, save for your retirement. If you make less than 120, I think 122,000, you can put money in a Roth IRA. You can pay 5,500 a year. The Magic Gravy Train will come and go. And who knows if magic will be even around when you retire 30 years from now. The dream of being a full-time magic content creator and the dream of being paid to go to events and it applies to so few people. So I'm not talking about Tolarian. I'm not talking about Weds. Everyone's telling me they make six figures. They are fine. They should be able to pay insurance. I'm talking about all the grinders. I'm talking about all these small content creators who have given up other opportunities to do this. It is not worth it. There is a handful of magic content creators who make money, who make enough money to live off. And even then, they don't buy insurance. For whatever reason, you can say that it was irresponsible. You can say whatever reason. But the fact that one of the biggest YouTubers does not have insurance, one of the biggest marquee sponsored, heavily promoted Magic the Gathering personalities does not, cannot afford or does not choose to pay for insurance. That should tell you all you need to know about this job. Most jobs come with insurance. You would have to sign a waiver. And even then, a company might not be comfortable with that. Most companies have group insurance plans. We, have, we had one at 10 people. All it takes is 10 people and then you get this agent. And this agent now buys insurance for you from Blue Cross. Like, it's easy to do. Small businesses all have it. Like, it's insane that, you know, and Wizard Coast doesn't have premise liability insurance because they think that a game shop doing a pre-release, they are not involved. They don't have the judge liability. 
they are doing everything they can to push liability onto everyone else to maximize their profits. They don't care about rainbows. They don't care about equality. They don't care about their personality, people. Hey, take a card. You can spoil it. That's all they care about. It's sad. But this should be a this should wake people up. Anyway, bye guys.